Hello friends, welcome to Cloud and Tech Tutorials. So we are back again with a few reviews for the reInvent in this AWS reInvent year which is 2021 and the main focus will be to give you some insights. There are definitely a lot of offerings and a lot of changes every year by AWS do. But the take for this year, what specifically they have changed for the infrastructure components. I'm trying to summarize those things in this video and I'm hopeful uh, this will help you to solve some of the challenges you're facing right now uh, in the specific cloud solutionings which you are trying to develop for your clients. So I will be shooting this video in two parts. One will be for EC2 and the other will be for uh, database services, right? So let's try to talk uh, about what ha what has been changed, what has been introduced this year for reInvent 2021 on AWS side for our EC2 perspective, okay? So the major thing which they have changed is, uh, uh, is bring some new type of instances, either doing optimization on price or doing optimization on performance, okay? So let's start with one of the major change they did with M1 Mac instances. These type of instances, they have developed specifically for the application developers who are doing development in uh, iPhone, uh, iPhone and specifically you can say uh, uh, development in Apple, right? So they, these type of instances will bring uh, a Nitro system with Thunderbolt, we all know they have their framework and they will be using M1 chip will, which will be SOC compliance. So one of the major challenges with Apple developer, uh, developers was that they want some synonym which, on which they can do some type of testing. So introducing these M1 Mac instances will definitely benefit them. They are also a better performance instances as compared to the last version. And the major uh, issue is that they can now uh, do mini, uh, so it is like a mini instance integrated with their Nitro system solution which is like a uh, bare metal solution so this is a very unique initiative which aws announced last last year and they have introduced this and i'm hopeful whenever you are interacting with your mac application developers and they want to test it in in more of their synonym environment so these type of instances will definitely help you the second major change they bought is they have they have introduced I am 4th generation and IS 4th generation instances, right? So these are like new storage optimized instances. I have been come across with some of my clients who are running very dense storage integrated applications, right? And the performances because of IOPS have been, have been degrading over the time because they need to query a lot of data to produce some results, right? So these instances will solve those purpose, right? They, they will have less latency these instances will be more optimized when they have a large of IOPS which need to be processed. Uh, big data solutions or any solution which really need a real time query on specific storage, right? So these instances are made for th uh, those type of uh, applications. Then another big change which I see uh, in, in uh, reInvent was introduction of C7G instance using Graviton3, right? So these, so we ha always have a challenge that I have a, a B float 16 type of uh, uh, variables which we need to be, uh, which we need to be uh, accepted, right? And these instances are doing it. They are compatible with that. Then we have DDR5 memory, which is first time being introduced in EC2 and they are leveraging Graviton3 on C7 type of instances. They are 25% more cost, uh, more uh, efficient according to the Amazon. Let's see how they will uh, behave and we will actually start using them in production. But these type of DDR5 memory optimized instances are also need of our because sometimes M type of instances where we have bustable memory are not enough for some type of instances. And there was always this uh, float compatibility problem. So this is the third major change. Let me see what are the other changes which I 
okay then another change which which i noticed for the, uh, this year is that they have introduced m6a type of instances we have been poked by the clients that m5 instances are definitely memory optimized they are good performance but the price is definitely on the higher side so now they have introduced the third generation amd epy6 processor right they they this is a collaboration between amazon and amd and these m5a instances can become more like according to the figures they are produ producing 35 percent of performance orientation you can achieve on m5 type of instances by replacing them with m6a so definitely the teams who are doing cost uh, optimization this is something to look into because many of your application may be using m5 type of instances then there was always a challenge in ecs type of solutions or eks type of solutions that you always need to keep sync between your public repositories and your private in-house ECR repositories, right? And you need to do some out of out of box solutioning for that. But now they have they have uh, uh, aligned pull through cache repository solution where AWS will automatically sync an upstream public repository which are dependent on your existing uh, ECR repository. So you don't need to do some out of box solution to do it. They will have you can also leverage AWS private sync and KMS to make it more secure. And on the back end, you can also make sure you you have that asynchronous sync always going on on AWS layer. You don't need to do it separately. So it will also reduce uh, latency when you are actually creating a new images or new version of your application code. OK, so this is definitely a very good uh, announcement, which I think many people were waiting for. And then they have introduced G5G. The, which is NVIDIA T4 5 Tensor Core GPUs uh, with collaboration on their Graviton 3, which is definitely a very good initiative because these uh, G5 type of NVIDIA instances were very high cost. Uh, cost uh, you can say they, they are the biggest cost contributors when we talk about any AI or ML type of solutioning on SageMaker or, you, or standalone solutioning. So doing cost optimization on G5G is definitely a unique step which Amazon is trying to uh, 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 focus more upon. The same, the figures operational expenditure on G5G will reduce by 30% if you go with this type of uh, instances. And definitely T4 5 Tensor with NVIDIA Core GPUs is always something which many people are looking for to develop or to, uh, to train their AI and ML models. So this is another good addition in this reInvent 2021. Now I will talk about an uh, autoscaler which has been introduced by Amazon on their uh, on their container stack which is Carpenter. So they have already uh, introduced Carpenter as their production in their production now. Initially we were using autoscaling on uh, autoscaling solution provided by Kubernetes which is KCA but now with the introduction of Carpenter you have an integrated native autoscaler solution which will do real-time association or real-time uh, you can say autoscaling of your container instances more efficiently more natively rather than depending on the out of box solution which Kubernetes provide so this is definitely an, a good addition if you are looking for something natively uh, controllable and auto scaling solution which you want to integrate with your container solution okay so these five to six uh, initiative which they have taken this year and they have introduced i am hopeful that this will solve some of your challenges which you are right now facing with uh, cloud implementation on aws the next video which i will be creating is to provide you more insights on database changes which they did for uh, this year reInvent and I'm hopeful this was helpful and please write, write me back and comment and share this video and if you have any questions any thoughts on it please share with me if I may have misinterpreted some of these solutions or I may have missed many I was more focused on infrastructure component of reInvent and have a nice day thank you